Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. My name is Lisa Cotter and today we're going through my January 2023 completed pages. Now January is always a very busy month for me. You've just gotten Christmas gotten over and the kids are home on school holidays. <laughs> so I never seem to get everything I want done and the house usually gets chaotic. So, um, but this month I did start my YouTube channel and I wanna say thank you to everyone that has subscribed and messaged me lovely messages and um, the feedback has been fantastic. So thank you so much. Um, the support from the coloring community as well, as well as the art community has been brilliant. So, um, I just hope I can do everything I'd like to do with the channel and add more content. So let's get started with my finished colouring pages. So I don't have any whips. Um, well, I do have one, but it's only like a dot on the page, so it's not worth showing. <clears throat> um, I will get to that one day. but. Every month what I do, um, this is my little diary, it's my colouring diary. Um, so what I do is, so in the front I have all the my pencils, this diary is falling apart too. Um, and so what I do is I write, this was back in November, um, so for January I had planned to do all these pages and I didn't get to half of them. <laughs> um, these are the pages I actually did do, which I was really pleased to get all that done, um, especially in January, as well as keeping up with the YouTube channel. Um, I didn't get any art done or my lettering. Um, I will get to that in February. I just gotta get a sort of a routine going with the channel and um, trying to keep up with everything as well as keeping up with the colouring pages I want to do. But we will go through um, my plans for February um, at the end of the video. So I'll just put this aside um, and we'll get started. So Elm Colours and Rachel Henderson Colouring is doing a year-long colouring event in Johanna Basford's colouring planner. And I've decided to join in with them. And so every week I finish one of these pages and how I'm doing it differently is I'm going through my pencil collection alphabetically. So for me to be able to test all my pencils on Johanna Basford's paper. And it's nice to use some of your pencils that you forget about. <laughs> so once I go through all of them, I will then just use whatever pencils I'd like. So this is the first page I did. Now you may have seen this, I may have put it in another video, I'm not sure. And um, this was done with the Artex colored pencils. Um, I got them for Christmas from my husband's and children and I wanted to test them out. So I went for the pinks and purples and blues as well as some orange yellow there and i just really love this page so i used that and the secure jelly roll so if you can see all the but they blended beautifully on this paper and as you can see the colors are really bright um, and lovely so i was really pleased with that i did the leaves all different colors um just to add a bit of difference and test out the greens in the collection as well but lovely pencil. I will be releasing a review soon on them. Now, the next one I got to was the December, January page. So this was the first one. Um, now, all these images are from her book collection. So I am not sure what ones these are from, but um, for me, this is a nice size. So these were done with the Artex. 126 set again. So first off I went in and did the little brickwork. I wanted the actual little houses to look like little old-fashioned um, cottages and 
then I did the flowers, which I think they look a bit bright compared to that, but it's a nice contrast. And again, these worked perfect in this on this paper. Um, I then used Secura, Secura Jelly Roll. So I was really pleased with that one. And then this is done with the Arteza pencils. So I knew that these change colour. So I wanted them to be sort of a jungle theme and them changing sort of into the same colours that are surrounding them. Um, I wanted to test out the Arteza's on this paper and try out water droplets because I thought that looked really cool but I love this page um, this is definitely one of my favorite pages I've done in this little book so far um, the colors are just beautiful they're bright and vivid but they do smudge as you can see they're quite smudgy so I've got to go and erase all that but um, yeah I was really happy to do this so I used the Arteza 72 set because I don't have the 120 set. It's very expensive over here in Australia. And then I used the Secura Jelly Roll. So I used the Secura Jelly Roll for all the little highlights. Um, now, the only thing with the Secura Jelly Rolls is they do change colour with certain pencils. So as you can see, the white there actually went to a purple colour. If I bring it up to the camera, you can sort of see it's gone purple, which I don't mind. Um, but it would have been nice for them to stay pure white. Funnily enough, the actual water droplets stayed white. But these are lovely. So the next one I did was with the Black Widow colour pencils. Now these pencils have really grown on me and again they've smudged um, something um, I'll erase <laughs> but with this page I wanted to test out all different ways to do um, flowers, plants, leaves, um, the cups and sauces and different things. So um, I really loved doing this. This was I did one every day, so it was sort of, so it wouldn't get boring. <laughs> um, I've had a lot of comments on my little lily down there, but I really love this. So I used Black Widow Coloured Pencils and the Secura Jelly Roll. But it's just a shame that they've smudged onto these pages, but that's okay. So the next one was done with a Brute Funa Square Coloured Pencils. Now, um, these pencils worked lovely on this paper, but the actual browns and things did fade a lot, especially down the bottom here. So I used Fabricastel Gelatos for the background. I then added some of that for the background in here as well as pencil. I then went in and did all the flowers. I left some white for the actual glass effect on the actual dome. And I really am pleased with how that came out because I thought to myself, well, it's even if it's see-through, there's going to be background and you're going to see it. So the magical little dots are done with the Secura Jelly Roll, which you'll get used to me saying that. And it did smudge onto this side, but it's not as bad as the other ones have. Now, the last one I did is this one, and this is a pattern page. This was done with the Bic Intensifier pencils, I believe they're called. Now, I got them just from the local shopping centre down here. Um, they were really cheap when I got them. They're a lovely pencil. They are not named or numbered, um, and the, the set is only 24, I believe. Um, they do have a 12 set, I believe, and a 24. I have asked Bic if they will be releasing a bigger set. And they said um, at the moment, no, but you can, you never know. Um, the colours 
it was really difficult because there isn't a lot of colours in the collection, but I was really able to get a lot of colours out of by mixing. Um, I did use a Prismacolor white to do the little white here because um, it just needed it and I wanted it that sort of pale colour. But I really love this page now it's done. And my daughter was talking about ladybugs, so I made these into little ladybugs. Um, she kept talking about ladybugs all day that day. <laughs> so I really love this naturally, natural sort of looking page. Um, I'm not one for patterns, but I'm really happy with it. So I did use a blender, a Prismacolor blender pencil as well for the background, because that's all pencil. Um, so this is my diary, and this will be my next page I'll work on, which will be tomorrow. So I'll put that down now. So I also, I'm not sure if I've showed this. So this is Johanna Basford's um, notebook. This is the Secret Garden one. I also have another one as well, I think. Um, so I think this is the Secret Garden. I could be wrong. But um, it came, so basically what I'm doing with this is I'm writing down the colours I use on my colouring pages. Now, I don't do it for every one of them. And I've been a bit slack the last couple of weeks. But most of all, I've got uh, quite a bit written down. So I did this using the Artex colour pencils again, the 126 set. So I know it's only tiny. It wasn't easy. I've seen people mostly do these in pen, but I did it in pencil and I really love that. I think it looks like the old style Victorian era um, sort of thing going on there. So yeah, this is how I, um, that was the title page in the diary. And um, that's how I keep a note on what colors I use. So I know that I can go back and reuse these colors um, so that's how I do that. So I've got that one done. Now, the next one you may have seen, um, now all of these are on Instagram, but I actually started this on New Year's Eve and got it finished on New Year's Day. So technically it's a January page. So this one is, um, sorry about that. Um, this is the Seasons book by Rita Berman. So she has separate books for all the seasons. Um, and this one is the collection of um, those books. So I own all of them. and But I really want to get into this so I can have a completed um, copy of this book. So this is Rita Berman's. And I love the size of these books, but they still take time, especially when it's a double page spread. So this is the one I completed to celebrate New Year's Eve and New Year's Day. And um, I did this with Black Widow pencils. I first came in and did the little houses. I knew I wanted them natural because I knew that this was gonna be really bright. I then went in and did the background. This was all black. So I went in with colour pencil and totally coloured that in. Um, that took majority of my New Year's Eve. I then went in with colour pencil and did the platform. I did these as um, as if they were trees behind the houses, as well as the Christmas tree. And then once I'd done all the colour pencil work, I went in with Secura Jelly Roll and all my different colours that I've got in my collection and I then because the Secura Jelly Roll does change colour I did go in with the Artistry white paint pen but um, this took two days to do but I'm so pleased with that it looks really lovely and it's really bright and it's a nice bright happy page and the first time I've ever coloured in fireworks I think I did an all right job there. And the Black Widow pencils were really nice on this paper. So I'll definitely be using them again in Rita Berman's book. Now, the next one is Rita Berman's summer book. So as I said, she had um, the different seasons. Now, none of these are in order of what I colored. <laughs> 
sorry about that um but i have tried to keep them in order of the actual um by author as best as possible so this one um was this page now it's summer in australia though it doesn't feel it at the moment and i got this done this last week so I wanted to test out my pan pastels. If you haven't seen my haul video, um, I got some pan pastels and do go watch that video. <laughs> I got some nice goodies there. So I used the pan pastels for the um, a base for the sand. I then used them in the sky up here um, and as well as using the Rembrandt by Royal Talons pastels soft pastels um i then went in after i'd actually colored it all in and to try and make it so because they weren't very bright so i actually got my fabric still pa um, pastel soft pastels and did some clouds here i'm not sure you can really see it but it sort of blends in a lot better the color pencils i used were the fabric still um black editions i have the 50 set of that and i also got in my haul the pastel set and highlight set so i tried to use all of those um, though you can't really see the highlighted ones but i did use them um, everything was basically pencil so the clouds and then i went in with the secure jelly roll for all the dots and as well as dots in the clouds if you can see that i added my own patterns to the cloud to the um flags and as well as some little like little flowers on that one and i just wanted to make it a happy bright page we call these shacks but i'm not sure what you call them in your country but they're inspired by um even the little ones, the buildings that are on the beach in the UK, Melbourne has them also. Melbourne calls them huts, but we call them shacks here and where I'm at. Um, I also used the, the bronze Uni Ball Signo pen on to add some texture for the sand. So that's pretty much everything. I think I um, used on that page but I'm really pleased with it it did take about three days to do especially all the blending um, these pencils blend really well but I did have to use my prism color blender for this one um, but they were wonderful oh and I did use Tombows for the water so I feel that if I'd done it again I wouldn't do use these pencils um, especially for the water um, they just didn't want to blend out so using the Tombows was a lot better though I just feel it's a bit bright compared to the nice palish color and then you get really big bright but overall I'm pretty happy with it um, I can't complain and I'm just glad to get a page done and a double page spread done in this summer book I know everyone else is having winter and here we're having summer but it doesn't feel like summer <laughs> but this was a lot of fun to do so that is Rita Berman's summer book that's a lovely book and again I love the size so the first page I did other than the diaries was um, my magical dawn by Hannah Carls and now this is a new book to me um, now you may have heard me say I don't like using water in coloring books and I don't so I've got to get used to this and I know this will flatten out a lot better but anyway so I decided to do this page I knew that it would be I wanted to do these soft purples so I knew all that I used the Brute Fina Square colored pencils for this one I'd never done crystals before so I wanted to practice doing crystals and I really love the colors I chose for those. And I wanted the green to really 
be in the forefront so it just it's a difference from the purple um, I used a lot of blues in with blending out these crystals and the browns but with this page what I wanted to do is for the actual dome to look see-through so pretty much I drew in a bit of a base if you can see in the little bottle there because if you had a see-through bottle you would have see whatever's behind that so that's how I did I actually um, used the Fabricastel gelatos for the background I for some reason they didn't want to blend out so I actually used water and then my daughter came and scribbled with black texter or black pen onto it and I was actually able to hide it so you can't see any of that now <laughs> but it was terrible I was devastated because I really love this book and she has here which I'll hide that I'll get rid of that as best as possible but um so I used that I had to wet it down so to actually blend out the gelatos I'm not sure why they just didn't want to blend so the page is wrinkled which I don't like um, it, it's the first time I've done really see-through glass and it didn't turn out again as I wanted because I had to wet it so it was going everywhere so overall I'm not totally happy with this page I like the colors um, but I'm not entirely happy with it and I'd love to redo this but I'm not gonna go and buy another book just to, for this page so for this one um, it was the Fabricastel Gelatos for the background as well as the Gensei Tambi Starry um, watercolors in gold which you can sort of see a shimmer so she on that side um, around the background the splatters are PH Martin bleed proof white. I then went in and did the same around the edge here to add it as if it's um, light bouncing off the actual glass. I did um, the same gold that I'd done in my Johanna Basford diary pretty much. Um, and overall, I am happy with the page. I still think it's a pretty page. I would do it differently now but yes yeah, so I did use some Sakura jelly roll so um, and overall I'm happy with it so that was that page and I'll get over my fear of using water in coloring books so the next one is Johanna Basford rooms of wonder so um, this is my second copy now this copy of the book I'll be using the Artex 126 set of pencils in. Um, so, because I really like how they acted on the paper. And this is the page I got done. And I might do some colour alongs in this book. Um, I've, I feel that that would be really helpful for people and it would get me started, especially the smaller images. So this is the page I got done. Um, I started out doing the background and I erased with an eraser to get the circle so um, to, to sort of do the moon I then I did use a prism color white to achieve that so that wasn't the Artex white but I did use some of the Artex light blue it's that real pastel blue because I wanted it as if the moon was shining through the trees um, especially with all the lights everywhere I thought that would really look good um, I just did the the green um, I know a lot of people have done that as clouds I took it as being a bush I could be wrong but overall I really love how bright and beautiful the colors were um, I also used a secure white jelly roll and I tried to not go overboard with it. But I will be continuing on with this book. And I'm going to actually match this page with this one. Because I actually wrote the colours I used down. 
So I love this little page, especially my little birds and the aqua chair. I'd love to sit in that chair. But this was a really fun page to do. And so that was that one in Johanna Basford's Rooms of Wonder. So come back soon for more of that one. Now, this is the next one I did. And this is from Hannah Lynn's new book, Fury and Fantasy Faces. Now, this was the PDF version. She does have the main full size, like this size, on Amazon, on the not great paper. She also has it with the better paper. And she has released the pocket size one. Um, it's not out in Australia yet. I've been checking hourly, but it's not out. So once it is out, I will get it and we can do a flip through of that one. But I just love this book. I love her other little book. The pocket sized is really helpful, but I love doing this big size. So I printed this out on the Spring Hill paper and I used my Artex colour pencils. Now, I'd done the face and I just love the skin tone and what I've done, I add my nose and the eye features and such. And then when I went to do the eyes, I decided to match the eyes to the actual storm down here. I used a, um, the same blues. There was about three or four blues I used in this here, as well as the white Prismacolor to add some light here. Um, this was the cream color with a bit of yellow on top and the sun and then when I got to I did all the bottom bit first and the rose and the fire and then I got to this I'd done the um, the wave and I thought well how do I want to do this because to me this looks like a sunset scene so I thought I would do sort of like a sunset so I did more fire-based colours on this side and did the sunset scene where I have the actual, um, a bit of yellow glow on her shoulder. i um, not sure if you can see that too well. And then using that as a gradient going up and into the actual blue around her head. And then of course, going into this blue for the background of the sea. And I really loved that effect. Um, I tried to make, not use too many different colors in this, but at the same time, um, getting everything so it's not looking too samey. But I really love this and I love the hair color. And I did write this combination down, which I'm glad I did, because I'll definitely use it again. Um, but this is such a lovely page. And this is the last page in her book, I believe. Um, but it turned out really lovely. And this paper is really fantastic to work on. So that was Hannah Lynn's Fierce and Fantasy Faces. So if you haven't seen this book, um, do check out this book. It's really lovely, especially if you like Hannah Lynn pages. So I'll put this up here so it doesn't get damaged. I already printed out my next one. <laughs> And the next one, which I just finished today, was Fragile World. Um, this was the by Kirby Rosanes. And I know you guys know already that I love this book. And I just wish I had more time to colour in it. So I did the koala page. Now, I know that this is technically February, but I hadn't done this video, so I thought I'd show you. <laughs> so I wanted to test out my... Derwent drawing pencils on this page. So what I did is, if you've already seen my orangutan, I did sort of, I used the Artex for the background with my orangutan. And then I decided to use the same colors pretty much, but a little bit lighter in the blue for the actual background here. Sorry about the glare. So I did the background to match the orangutan. So they're sort of matching pages, but they're not. 
um, which I think they look quite good together. But yeah, I wanted to test out my Derwent drawing pencils, but it it's a small set of 24 and doesn't come with um, many grains. So first off, I used, I did all the leaves and they were done with Derwent Light Fast Colour Pencils. Um, they were really lovely and bright. They came out and I did the leaves um, and the branches first. And then I went in with the Derwent Drawing Pencils, um, the branches and the leaves, um, the stems here were all done with the Derwent drawing pencils. The actual um, koala itself, I just layered it over and over and over with the Derwent drawing, but the greys weren't coming out dark, so I, I had an Artex colour grey, which I went over to get that dark, and then I went over with the black in the actual Derwent drawing because I wanted to get it more darker. For some reason on Instagram it's come out looking really pale. Um, and with this image it didn't come with any of these plants. So eucalyptus trees does have a flower to it so I added that. So it sort of matches in with this but I thought it would actually look really nice and different and unique to my page. Um, I used the Uniball Signo white pen that I got in my haul to actually just do on the edges and it's finer. I tried using my Secura Jelly Roll but it just wouldn't work so I'm not sure why. And then I went in with three different colours for the um, the little flowers by Tuli Art and they could be my new favourite paint pen. They're wonderful. That's the past pastel set, which I got in my haul as well. So overall, this was a really fun page to do. It took me two days, but this had been a whip for about a year. <laughs> so getting this done, I'm really pleased. And I had planned to have it done before Australia Day, but I just didn't get the time. So I tried to, I used, um, I looked up at, images on Google and being an Australian you'll probably think I have koalas everywhere around us but here we don't in my area and we did lose a lot especially on Kangaroo Island they um, they actually culled some a few years back and then they had the fires and it pretty much wiped them out um, and we it's just a devastating loss to lose all our koalas and there is some still in the wild and they're a remarkable animal. They're not a bear. As much as people think they're a bear, they may look cute and cuddly, but those nails of the actual koalas are really sharp. I actually um, held one at a park nearby where I live, and those nails are really, really sharp. And they do make the most awful sound you've ever heard. If you saw them, you think, oh, they're so cute and fluffy and cute looking until you hear them. And that's probably where they get the drop bears <laughs> from for Australia. But overall, I'm really happy with this page. So that was the Artex colour pencils, the Derwent drawing colour pencils, the Der Derwent light fast, Tuli Art paint pens, the pastel ones, three different colours in there. The Secura Jelly Roll as well as the Signo Uniball Signo White Paint Pen. Um pen. Gel pen, sorry. But that was a lot of fun to do. And I just wanted to get it done. I thought that's it, it's time to get it done. And I really want to get this book finished one day, so I should do a page a week. Though I don't think I'd get a page a week done. But no. And another, um, before I continue on to the next one, um, koalas are very remarkable in the sense of, to most animals, eucalyptus trees are actually, the leaves are poisonous. So little koalas have formed an enzyme in their stomachs that can actually handle eucalyptus plants where they would actually kill most other animals. So that's very remarkable. 
and yes they sleep a lot and eat a lot but they're beautiful animals and this book is such a beautiful book by Kirby Rosanes it's one of my favorites so now the last page I got done and this page was a buddy color now I'm a member of the Color Free Optimistics Discord group and a few of us decided to do a buddy colour for January and it's called Colour Pages 23 by the 23rd. So we'll probably be doing this for the full year but it'll be different books each time and I will join in as often as I can as long as I've got the books that I can do. If I can't I'll have to find another book to do it in. But this was with Hape, Zoo, Pam and NJ Perez Martinez. I think I got that correct. There may be a couple other people I will do check. Um, if so, I will be putting, if they have a YouTube channel or Instagram um, page, I will put a link in the description below. But it was a lot of fun and... I really enjoyed this page because I used products I have never used in a coloring book before. And this page is probably, apart from the koala, my most favorite page I've ever done in a coloring book. So that's saying something. Move over Red Riding Hood, Circle of Life's come back in. And I do love this book. So this is Circle of Life. And there you go. I'm not saying it because you'll laugh when I mispronounce it. <laughs> so this was the page that I did. I am super proud of this page. Now, I've had my Tombows for about a year now. They've not dried out. I did get a lot of them secondhand. So I used my Tombow markers as a base. Now this page took me about a week to do, I could say. I think it was about a week. So first off, I I sort of had this vision. Um, I remember when I picked this up and it was the chosen page to do. And I looked at this and I thought, oh my goodness, where do I start? I just don't know where to start. Um, I went to bed and had a dream. And I dreamt of this page. So I must have been thinking of it. Um, and this is what I dreamed and it's uncanny when that happens but yes sometimes i dream of my coloring pages so i have to recreate what i dream <laughs> so for this i based it with tombos and i wanted to do the dark blue around so it drew your eye into the actual whale um so once you use tombos i actually at first i actually use them straight onto the page but in some places they did bleed through slightly just up here um, but you can't you can't really see that and a bit of yellowing here but you can't really see that but it's because I wasn't used to what to do I then got the actual plastic sheet that came with my markers and I drew onto that sheet with the actual marker and then used the Tombow blender and picked up the color as you can see there's some color there um, and picked it up and actually painted it onto the page so that's how I do it um, and I found after doing that it didn't bleed through and because I'm not using water it didn't it didn't make my page wrinkly which made me happy so I was able to blend it out but I have done a reel which you can actually see how it looked before um, I basically it looked totally different <laughs> so I did that that as a base and then I went in with my prism color color pencils and went over it. and it did take quite a long time I think the longest was blending all this background out um, that took the longest and then the fish um, that drove me crazy I think doing all those fish and I was like what colors do I do them I don't want them all I didn't want them bright color to take away from the actual um, killer whales or orcas so it sort of 
I did them sort of grey with flashes of colour through them. Um, I used my Prismacolor Lavender and Lilac <laughs> and a white one for there for the actual um, jellyfish. I then wanted, I know that whales have sort of white stomachs, but it didn't look right, especially with all that plants here. So what I did is I did the white going into the blue of the wave. I used a lot of Sakura Jelly Roll as well as the Artistro white paint pen. So that took me about 10 days to do and I'll show you more close without the glare hopefully. But see all that detail there. And this has to be my favourite page. And if I didn't have this line here, I would actually put this on the wall. I was that proud of it. Um, it's definitely one of my favourite pages, but that's pretty easy because this is my favourite, one of my favourite books. So I will actually do a little gallery so you can actually see um, my buddy colours with all the girls. And I will then come back and... I may put in an image of uncolored and then colored for you as well if I remember to do that. So I'll stop the video now and then when we come back we'll discuss what pages I or a few of the books I'd like to get into in February. So thank you girls for all that beautiful buddy color. It was so fun to do. I can't wait to do February's. So I'll pause that now. So that was the beautiful artwork by all the girls that I did the buddy colour with. If I've missed anyone out, do let me know. I um, I will definitely go over it and I will put a link in the description below. So that is my finished colouring pages for January 2023. Now, I never get as many as I'd like done, but I'm pretty pleased with what I did get done. I got um, a couple of those double page spreads done, which I, with those, they're just so much work. Um, even the little Rita Berman one, and it only took a couple of days, it still was doing a lot more hours than I usually would. I think one night it was 2 a.m. I finished, and then I thought, no, nah, I'm going to bed. <laughs> so now I thought, while we're here, I would um, just, show you some of the books I would actually like to do in February. Now, this is just a plan. It doesn't mean I'm going to get to all these books. I've probably picked more than I need. Um, but, you know, I'd like to get a good start to them. So I would love to do a page in Fairylandia colouring book by Gundren Hall. This is an AI art book. But I would like to do one in here. I'm not sure which one. Um, I know I have read that the paper isn't the greatest. But I'll do my best. Um, so I would love to do a little page in there. Um, I've got the book. I've bought it. So I really would like to colour in it. So the next one would be, which I've spoken before in the 10 colouring books I'd like to get into in 2023 is this one. This was in the Land Animals, the Rita Berman book. And the page I'm thinking of actually doing is this one. Another double page spread, but I can actually see the colours when I look at this page. So I know what colours I want to use. I don't know what pencils yet, but I, I love this page. I think it's beautiful. So I'll be doing this one in February. Um, 
that would be a lot of fun. I'll also be doing the another four of my diary pages from Johanna Basford's diary. Now, um, coming in February, I would like to start a skin tone um, tutorial. So just to teach skin tones or how I do skin tones. And they're gonna be split into four different videos. And so I do have templates which I've made but I'd like to actually take what we learn using the template and use it in this book. Now, I would have done it with the new pocket book, but not everyone may have that, and I can't get it at the moment either. So I thought we could do a page in here. I don't care what page we do. The one I'm thinking of is this page here, because you've got the face. I can show you how I do noses, but, um, and I thought it'd be simple and it's a good way to learn skin tone. But I can do even butterflies from Hope. That one would be more simple because it's just the face. But yes, I'd like to actually do something with you as a buddy colour in this book. So I am thinking of two buddy colours this month. One in here and one in another book. So... My next one I'd like to do is a page, The Fairy Tale Princesses and Storybook Darlings by Hannah Lynn. Um, now, the one I'm actually thinking of doing, I was looking at it because I'm trying to get this one finished. Now, I should be doing this one, but I don't know, This I might keep this for Mermaid Month back in May, I don't know. Um, that's definitely not a favourite page of mine. and But I might do this page here. The princess and the pea. And there's the pea hiding there. I'm not sure. I'll see if I can get to that one. I'd like to do that one. Um, but I'd really like to get stuck into this again. Because this is one of my first colouring books. And one I'd like to get done. Now... I'll be definitely doing a page in season. So this, I believe, will be the one um, I'll be doing this month for my buddy colour. Um, I'm not sure what page it is fully, so I will find out. But it'll be definitely by Hannah Carlson Seasons, and I've not coloured in this one yet. Again, beautiful pages. And then I would like to do a page or I'm hoping to do um, a page in The Little Secrets from My Fairy House by Clara Markova. Now, I'm not sure if I'll actually get it finished, but I wouldn't mind doing one, something to do with Valentine's Day. So I'll find something I'm sure in this book. Um, she has lovely books, but I'd like to make a start. Um, the Colouring Kid did the most beautiful nameplate page. I think it was the nameplate. Yeah, this one. Um, you should go and see that. It's so beautiful. She did an amazing job on this page. And so I really, it's either this one or something with love hearts in it. But I'll find a page, I'm sure. So I'd love to start colouring in that one. Now, I will be getting into, as I said, the diary. And I will be doing... Johanna Basford's Rooms of Wonder, another page in here. Now, I thought as a colour along, we'd pick one of the simpler pages for me. <laughs> because I've never done a colour along before, I thought doing a simpler page would make it easier. Um, at first, I thought maybe one of these or a couple, and we'd do a couple a week. Or I thought we could do every so often one of these until they're done i'd love to um to do these the jars i love things with jars in it um but this is such a beautiful book and there's so much um it's very detailed so i wouldn't want to show you how to do one of these yet because it's just too much uh, but starting something simple <laughs> don't worry that page is stuck down for now um, 
even this would be nice to do maybe start up with one but we'll see um something simple out of this as a color along um i'd like to do that in a couple of weeks and i've had other people say that they'd love me to do that so i will also be doing another page in my lunar coloring book by maria troll um i tried to pick pictures with love hearts but there's not many I have with love hearts in them. But this is the page I'd like to actually get done um, to match my little girl here. So I know this will be done with Black Widow colour pencils. So this page I'll be definitely doing. And it's nice to get your colouring books done. So this one is a new one to me. This is the Mythograph Mythographic Enchanted Castles. So I'm going to do a page in this. I'm not sure what one. I sort of have an idea. I think it's the hourglass one, if I can actually find it. Um, this one. I wouldn't mind doing that one. I think that would be very cool to do. Um, it's just getting it done. That's the thing. And the paper in this feels really amazing. And it's single-sided. So that's fantastic. So I can't wait to do that page again it's better to have more than less chosen and another new book which i got last year is the flower fairies coloring book now i'm not sure if it says who it's done so i'm not sure who it's done by but i know these are artist pictures and i can't remember who oh yes frederick warm sorry about that it wasn't on the front so this is the book i'd like to do one page i've chosen out a page um i'll do my best to get it done i love fairy art and i thought i could do this one for valentine's day i thought that'd be cute um it's a little cute fairy page and the roses i like the art style but it's a nice page so that one is actually called a rose for my valentine valentine so i'll do this fun for valentine's day um something to get done in here so it's not another book just sitting there without being used and another of my favorite books <laughs> is johanna basford's world of flowers now there's a love heart flower page and I, I think I've forgotten to actually put the tag in. Here it is here. So I would actually like to get this done as well for Valentine's Day. Now, this is my second copy. My other one has turned into a tester. Um, this is my second copy. So this page here will be done with Prismacolor pencils. And I've done this, I've seen this page done in the most beautiful um, colors. So, I hope I don't wreck it, but I do have the blank version of this also in my other copy. But yes, it'll be done. This one will be done. With this book, I'm actually just using my Prismacolor pencils. Um, I do that with some of my books where I just use the same brand. I have sort of follow the Chris Cheng tutorial in this. So I sort of want to keep using those sort of colors. So... I love this book. This is one of my first books I ever got. So those are the pages I would like to do in February. It doesn't mean I'll get them all done. I'd be happy to just get five or six or seven. <laughs> and especially those colour alongs. Um, I'd love to do a lot of different things on the channel. I'd I do have the Artex review to do. I also am going to be reviewing um, Sarah and A. Clark's Colour Cube. Um, I'm not sure if that'll come out in February or March. And I would like to do either my colour pencil collection, if you'd like to see that. Um, as I have quite a lot of pencils. So I thought that could be a video I would do. And maybe in March, I might do my favourite pastel products um, as a fun idea. <laughs> so, yes, a lot of plans. Just getting the time to do it all. So, 
I want to say thank you for watching. Thank you for putting up with my ramblings. And if you liked my video, press like and subscribe. And do come back soon for more content. So thank you and happy colouring.